So what in the world are we doing out here? It's Chris, part of the Smith & Smith, it's Tammy's filming, so we're standing on the dock so I don't want to have to like do a tripod or anything like that. Anyway, we had it just from Safe Harbor? Snug Harbor. There it is. Snug Harbor. So he helped us show a really good boat when we needed to compare sizes. We've seen a 37 foot, but we kept seeing, we keep seeing like a... Uh, 30s, 34s, 35s. I didn't know how to compare the sizes. So we came out to look. And this is a 27 foot Catalina. And he's actually got it up for sale. It's a really good price. Um, there are new sales in this boat. And it looks like the rigging has been done. It is within our price range. Unfortunately, it's not within our location. And we kind of think that the 30 might be a little bit too small for us anyway, but it's not within our location, 27, excuse me. Um, because we want the location to be salt water, not fresh water. So hold on one second, and we're going to go back to the house and get everything. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the house. Hey. You saw us out at the dock. We appreciate that. Um, before we get started, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and share it. Share it. We had a had a good day. It was a long day. We were out at Lake Lanier, um, Snug Harbor boats. Mm -hmm. You got the card. I got the card. I can look at the card. I? Snug Harbor Boats and Company, actually. Um, the gentleman's name's Rich. He, you can find them at www.snugharbor.com. You know how to do all the W's beforehand. Say that again three times fast. Still. Uh, he, knew that we weren't going to buy a boat but he still showed us because you know you run these numbers in your head 30 37 35 40 41 27 20 you're like okay all that's great but i have no reference point reference point of what i know what a 37 foot looks like two different types but i don't have a reference point for in between and he went and showed us a 27 foot catalina which was in our price range, and it's probably the only thing that's going to be in our price range. I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, really. <coughs> but COVID. Uh, but he but he showed us this knowing we weren't going to buy it. And it was raining. And, it's, and we were at the end of a rainstorm. He didn't have to do that for us. He said, look, it's going to rain. He didn't have to do that. So go. If you guys are thinking about buying a boat anywhere near Lake Lanier, so check him out. He's over, it's McEver Road, which is actually, for those of you who don't know, it's Peachtree Industrial that turns into McEver Road. So just go up there, say, hey, tell them that, tell them that we sent you. I have no idea what would happen. He'd probably look at you as crazy as we did. As he looked at us like, what he did the ask. hell are y'all talking about when we walked in there? He said, well, y'all stupid. We want you to, we're doing this to show you that normal people can live their dreams at any age. We're not young, like some of y'all are out there in YouTube land. <clears throat> um, <laughs> we're not experienced, like no. some of you are out there in YouTube land. Oh, Kelly's. Um, no. All of you. Yeah. They are. They aren't experienced. They've never. They've never sailed a boat before in their life. They sure as hell look it. That's love you wins. Right. Um, and the Zatara family, all, all four of you are our mentors. Um, if you don't know anything about their channels, please look them up. They're going to be on our subscribe page. Uh, the Winds, Uma, all of them said they are our mentors on what to do. And I think we're going to probably be the videos on what not to do. Right. At least. At least what not to do. Hey, y'all, like this. See this? Don't do that. See what Chris is doing now? Yeah, don't don't do that. Mm -hmm. He's making it ten mm -hmm. times harder than it is. But we're average sized people. Well, look at them. 
We're the, a little above average size people. We gained the some only, fluffy during this pandemic. The only one close to be looking like us is the dad off the of Salem's of Heart. <laughs> Don't matter. We, we've I mean, gained some fluff. We're not and average how, anymore. And how he gets into those little bitty confines, well, that's why he's got kids. Never mind. Um, but we, we see all these people. They're doing their life. They're doing their dream. And we want to do it, too. We don't want to go back to the way it was before COVID. We no. have no lot. We no. Because no. I've been in healthcare since '97. Nine to five. Get up, go to work, come home. What rent, rinse, wash, repeat every day. Right. Save well, up for maybe one vacation, maybe two a year. And that's that's if you don't have kids. Right. Uh, and 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 hopefully you're married because that way you have somebody else helping save up for that vacation. Because if you're single. And you're screwed. Yeah, if you're single with kids, you, you're pretty messed up um, until that kid gets out of there. I'm not saying that that's not possible. It is. It's Been there, done that. Been there, done that. We just don't want to do it anymore. No. Nope. Um, we've got a lot of people saying we're crazy. A whole lot of people. Probably. I mean, it's, it's probably. And come June 30th, we will be in Florida either by boat, by apartment, or homeless in yep. our car. We have 10 days. Yeah, and that's this it. is 10 days to pack up and get the heck out 10 days from now. And everybody's like, well, aren't you afraid? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah we are. Afraid. One of my biggest fears in life is being homeless. And we're almost right there in that situation. Hey, and, and yeah, yeah, we are. But, but you don't learn anything. You don't grow. You don't. What was that quote? You don't have a sense of, yeah, you, you don't have. You don't have a sense of growth without fear. You always push yourself through it, step over it, and learn. Make a mistake. You know. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than the ones that you did do. So if you're off the bow lines, sail away. Or yeah, sail away from the Safe harbor. harbor. Safe harbor. Safe harbor. Sorry, yeah, this is blurry. I'm trying to read it. Catch the trade winds in your seas, in your sails. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. Explore, dream, discover. And that's kind of going to be our mantra. It's mm -hmm. Mark Twain. Mark Twain. There's something Thomas Edison said. He invented the light bulb. He said, yes, I did. And you see this one invention. Because you used to see the 30,000 mistakes I made until I made this one invention. It's one of those things that, you know, yeah, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to learn from it. We're going to grow from it. And we're going to enjoy it. Will we get mad? Maybe. Will we Probably. get frustrated? Absolutely. But it's living. Yeah. It's not waking up existing. to pay your bills. Yes. Oh, my God. What it's not we, just existing. What are we doing tomorrow? Living. I have no idea because we got to pay the bills today. Why? Well, what are we doing Friday? Paycheck to paycheck. I mean, I know a lot of you probably don't live paycheck to paycheck, but I know there's a bunch of you that do, and it's always worried about the next. When's the next shoe falling? Because I'm doing too good right now. Well, we're tired of that. We are going to be the next shoe. We're going to go ahead and crush everything that we've got around us so we can do nothing but build from now on. Exactly. Um, and we want you to come along. Enjoy. Watch the mistakes we made and say, oh, they're dumb idiots. Or give us some, <laughs> give us some hints. Give an email. Please, right. for the love of God, give us feedback. talk to us. You know? What do you like? What do you not like? What do you want to hear us talk about? What do you not want to hear us talk about? Changing intros, you tell me it's too short, too long, music's not right. Talk to me because you guys will be the ones determining us. Everything we do is going to be provided by you. So talk to us. Tell us what we need. You know what? You're our boss. From here on out, you're, you're our employer. Everything we do is going to be done for you guys anyway. So that basically makes you our employer. Tell us what to do. We're I, not gonna. We're not gonna come wash your house. <laughs> no, no. We'll be. We'll be in Florida. No. Uh, and, and, I, and I'm not repairing a car. Ain't happening. No. Um. A lot of y'all have asked what you could do to help. There's this thing called 
Patreon? Patreon. I started I started a Patreon page. Um if you yourself can't subscribe, then share it. Show it around. People say, people say, oh man, that's crazy. Say, you know what I see crazy? Watch these two. Exactly. These two have done dropped everything, gone against the will of Jesus. 40 hour work weeks. Mm -hmm. So we're being rebellious. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we've hit the midlife crisis stage. Yeah, we have. <laughs> but yeah, you want to uh, share us. Please like, share, share comment. It. Get comment it out away. there. Put it out there and on the internet for everybody to see. So it can't be taken back. We yeah. Hey, we piss you off on something, vent it. You're you're having a bad day. Hey, we have them. If you're having a bad day, vent away. Um, put it in a private message and just vent. Say, hey, this, 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 and such. Maybe it's something we ran through and we can help. Maybe we're doing something that you've ran through. You can help. Yeah, just be interactive. Talk to us. Let us know. <coughs> COVID. And all these people that we mentioned in our videos, but they are not sponsoring us. We're nope. not getting anything from them. They are our mentors. We look to them for what we should be doing and, and how we should be doing it. Our inspiration. Actually, part of it is our inspiration for doing this. Um, but we really and truly want you to. We love sailing Uma's thing. Don't buy a couch. We're getting rid of this. Yep. Don't buy a couch. And if you want to know what that means, go, go look them up. Go over to Sailing Uma, U-M-A. Yep. And, and do their don't buy a couch. And they'll be glad to tell you on why not to buy a couch. They've got a lot of videos. and We're on number 33, I think. Yeah. And it's 12 per season. So So we love them. Like I said, they're all our inspirations. And we want you, well, if you can't explore the world because you got obligations, we understand. We did. We did. We said frigate. And, you know, now that the obligations are gone, we're like, okay, why are we living up to expectations that aren't even part of life anymore? So, what I want you to do, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Share it. Share it. We will see you next week with, well. An update. An update, because we'll be three days away from having to leave to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. We'll either have a boat, have a place to stay, or, or not. be homeless. Have a place to camp. Yep. We've really thought about camping for a week. That, that'd that be cool next to the beach. And then uh, there's some things that may happen that you need to stay tuned for. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Interesting stuff. So we will see you next week. Hope you enjoy sunsets. Um, our sunset this afternoon was taken by Cam. And uh, we were coming back from Nico Nico, which is a great little restaurant if you want sushi. That was the Mall of, uh, Mall of Georgia. Mall of Georgia. No. Yeah. By the Mall of Georgia. Mall of Georgia. Because Gwinnett Mall was, yeah, anyway. Mall of Georgia. Nico, Nico, thanks to the Mall of Georgia. So we will see you next week and enjoy the sunset. Bye. Bye.